Hey, what's up guys? It's Pat and welcome back to Minecraft Epic Proportions. And today we are actually going to be fighting the Hydra. I know everyone's wanted to see this battle for so long. And I looked everywhere for him. I checked everywhere on our map, guys. There was no Hydra there either. I had to make a third magic map. And I finally found one. Thank God. So today we are going to be fighting him. I'm a little excited. I don't know if it's going to be a harder battle because I know the Urgas fight was pretty easy. It was. So I have an idea. I don't, this is like an awful idea. I want to make it harder. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to take off my helmet. I'm going to take off my... Let's see. My legs. My legs. So I have my chest still and my feet. And we'll see how this goes. It should make it more of a challenge for us. And also, some of the stuff we got in the Urgas place is pretty cool. Like this Carmenite, if you look at it, I can make the blocks from the place. So I can make the stuff from the tower that was really awesome. I can make vanishing blocks, reappearing blocks, Carmenite builders, and Carmenite reactors. And we can even fly up there. I mean, I could easily fly up to the Urgas Towers, and there were like 10 of them in the area, and get these things really easily. So I thought that was cool. And also, there's fiery blood. And if I use this, I can make fiery ingots. And if I use those, a brand new set that looks awesome. Fiery Aura 2 it has on it, which basically I think if you get attacked, it's going to, you know, light them on fire. So it's like thorns kind of. And also, I like the pickaxe. Fiery pick. And it auto smelts stuff. We got to make that. It's also a weapon as well. So it's like a sign right here that I have two blaze rods on me because we need those for it. So that's like telling me that I need to, I need to make that. But here we are. The Hydra should be over here. Um, they live in like a hollow hill that's like broken open. He must have broken it open. I don't know. But there's a hollow hill right here, kind of, except that, you know, the dirt is a different color. <laughs> so I'm ready for this. I'm ready. And there's like a bunch of birds on top. What are you guys doing up here? It is way too dangerous. The Hydra is down there. There's like so many birds. I wonder if this is normal. <laughs> like birds on the top of every, like Hydra den. <laughs> They're so little, though. They have one hit point. Don't go down there. It's too dangerous. Okay, I see him. Let's see. Try to get closer. Oh my god, it's huge. Alright, we're gonna have to go for this, guys. Let me eat a little bit of food so we're always regening health during the fight. And yeah, we're missing some armor, so hopefully this will give us a challenge. Because the Urgas fight, I know, it was pretty damn easy. It really was. We need a challenge. I'm already getting shot at or something. I'm a little scared. Never fought him before. Never have you shooting the fireballs at me. I believe you can actually, like, break their faces, right? Does it have to do with them, like, having their mouth open? Not 100% sure on a lot of this stuff, because I've never fought him. I did look it up, though. All right, he's taking damage. There we go. Their chance. Run. We're going to be on the move, like, the whole time here. You can just tell. Oh, man. Oh, God, I'm on fire. I took so much damage from having no, um, from having no gear on. Well, half gear. I wonder what it would have been <laughs> if I had all my gear on. So, yeah, this is going to make it more challenging, definitely. We're going to stay on the run here. You can tell when they're going to attack because they, like, start to open their mouth. You kind of get out of the way of that. See that one right there? He's opening his mouth. Run! And we can jump out of the way, too. All three faces. Oh, God. Just barely made it out of the way. So maybe we won't get hit again. If we're really smart, we won't get hit at all. Only been hit once. He's down to 274. And during this fight, I really wanted to explain something. Because for my mob battles, I get this suggestion all the time. Use the Hydra boss. Use him for a mob battle. I can't use him. And the reason is, is that he actually locks onto the player even when they're in creative. So all the faces won't go after the mob that's fighting. Like maybe one well and the other two are like shooting fireballs at me. Making it an unfair fight. And I haven't really come up with a solution that actually works really well and makes the fight fair. So I just wanted to point that out because I know a lot of you guys watch the mob battles as well. He's at a 233. Fire while I'm jumping. <laughs> Running jump in. Arrows. All right, let's go in with the weapon. The melee weapon is our chance. He's firing out there. Doesn't do very much damage. Just one. I wonder if knockback would, like, shoot him uh, across the world. All right, as long as we're quick, this seems pretty easy. Oh, God, he's dodging my attacks or reflecting them. My arrows. Oh, no, the bunny is going near him. Not the bunny. <laughs> Not the bunny. Oh, God, did he get hit by that? The bad. Or she. Poor little animals around here. I don't know why they're near this Hydra. It's way too dangerous. I like this fight. It's actually a long battle. I like long boss fights. You know? Except not like too long. Like an hour long. Awful. Some games. Like MMORPGs. 
<laughs> you can fight a boss for like a half an hour. 45 minutes. Can be ridiculous. He's down to 158. We've only been hit once. I'm starting to lose hunger here. I'm starting to get hungry. I'm gonna have to eat in a second. I just heard one of the birds. Keep shooting the arrows. All right, he's down to 129. This isn't bad at all. I might have been able to do this naked, but probably not just because I would have died from the first hit. Probably would have killed me in one hit, just to be honest. All right, we need to eat quickly. Don't shoot at me right now. All right, perfect. Going in with the melee weapon. Kill him. It does like no damage. Oh God, Rod. Rod for it. I'm way too close right now. All right, where's my bow? God, accidentally like moved my head. Oh man, that was close actually. He is at 127. Taking him down. Yeah, as long as you keep moving, it seems to be reasonable, definitely, to not even get hit. This isn't too bad. The 106 definitely has a lot of health though and does not go down quickly. This is a very strong bow and it doesn't do much damage at all. Maybe I'm supposed to hit the faces and kill those first. I know that you can actually like break their faces like I am right now. And that they, oh God. I took too many shots at it. Oh, and he's dead. I've killed him. <laughs> While I was on fire. I was trying to get away. And he's like evaporating. And he's dead. We've killed the Hydra. Not too bad. Not too bad. But yeah, taking the shots at his body seemed to do it. And we've killed him. Not sure if it was the perfect strategy. But we only got hit like twice there. And survived. There's his trophy. Got his head. It's really cool. <laughs> I like it, but my favorite is definitely the Urgast. Leave a comment, let me know which trophy's your favorite. It's gotta be the Urgast, right? It's so cool. He also dropped um, Hydra Chops. Some real food there, 25 of them. And more Fiery Blood so we can craft some stuff, nice. So let's look around here. Looks like there are some emeralds and some diamonds. Nice. Where, okay, let me put my gear back on. I'm gonna grab my diamond pickaxe and get some stone so we can climb up there real quick. I know it was a pretty, like, quick fight, so I can't, like, end the episode. Usually I do after I do a boss fight. So, um, what we can do... Let me take a look at my magic map in one second here. There is, like, mazes. You see that green thing on the map? That's a maze. And we haven't explored any of those yet, so I thought that would be perfect. Oh, crap, it's raining. <laughs> I hate the raid. I hate it. Oh, well. So, I'm gonna try to climb up here. Damn rain. It's gotta rain all the time, doesn't it? Alright, I love how I can jump, and I can put down, like, five of these at the same time. All right, and we are up towards the diamonds. And we have fortune, guys. Don't worry. Going to get plenty of diamonds out of this. I'm not going to go crazy, get all the iron and stuff, just because, you know, it's so easy to get iron. Especially with uh, Twilight Forest because of the Hollow Hills. Have, like, ridiculous amounts of iron. Which I like. I like the Hollow Hills a lot. They're fun. All right, that should be enough to get me close enough for this one. And we will grab that. Perfect. Perfect. And, guys, I did want to say thank you. Whoa, got some lag there. Definitely did. I am going to turn off the rain just to make sure that we are, you know, get a good frame rate. All right, guys, I turned off the rain just because, you know, sometimes it makes it lag a little bit. So I figured better quality of the video with the rain off. So I turned it off because I got a lag spike right when I jumped off that thing. <laughs> so there is a lot of iron stuff. I'm not going to grab it. And I wanted to say I was rudely interrupted by the lag. Um, thank you so much, guys, for 20,000 subscribers. It's been going up really quick lately, I have to say. So you guys are awesome. Really appreciate the support so far. All right, so we are going to head down here. I'm assuming there's like a basement like there has been in all these things. All right, and it's like water. Don't drown me. Oh God, there's little gremlins. No, there are like kobolds. <laughs> there's so many. Was there a spawner down here? How many of these little guys are there? All right, I've killed them. And there's a chest, of course. Lots of chicken. Apples. What can we get rid of? I'm trying to figure out what we don't need. We don't need this. Um, don't need this wood. <laughs> I don't mind having more food. There's nothing wrong with food. Other than that, there isn't too much to grab here, huh? Does this connect anywhere else? Because isn't there, like, another one, like, right up here? Let me just see this. I could probably jump out of this, right? No. Oh, come on. Let me out. I wanted to jump out. Right here. Ugh. Can't make it. One more. And we are out of here. So, which one did we, like... We went in this one, so I totally went the wrong direction. I don't think there's another under this. But there could be, I guess. There are... There's wolves around. 
So I got nervous. I thought it was going after the squirrel. I saw something. I saw the squirrel run, and then I saw the wolf, and I just was assuming he was running after it. I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> Easily distracted by it. All right, we are going down. And this time, there's nothing. Okay. Fair enough. I thought there might be one underneath, but there wasn't, sadly. Okay, let me break my way out of this hell hole. All right, there we go. So we're going to mount up and head towards the maze if we can. You see here, there's probably some good loot there. There's my dino bike. And let's go. All right, we're going to fly. I have wings. And let's take a look at the map. And it should be, like, directly in this direction. Hoping for some type of maze thing. I haven't explored any. That is a... What the hell is that? What is that? That is the weirdest tree thing I've ever seen. Huh, hold on. We have to stop here, guys. I have no idea what this is. Strange structure. It's got, like, stairs and stuff. It's like a weirdest tree house ever. Huh, where are we going? Never gonna make it to the maze like this. Distracted by everything. Is there anything in this? Hmm. So some kind of weird structure. Guys, is there treasures here? Just let me know. I can always go back to one of these if I see one. Because I don't want to, like, spend too much time looking at something that has absolutely nothing. It just might be a cool-looking tree thing. If you know what I mean? Alright, so I see the maze on the mini-map. I see it. And it is. Is it down here? There we go. Oh, God. Okay, let me eat some food. I don't want to eat my new food. It's probably really good. We should, you know, use it for something good. I can see treasures from here. So I see, like, one over there. Okay, so there's spawners. Let's do this. Let's go for it. Running in! Going for the spawners! Alright, wrong way. Spiders! Lots of spiders! Got them with my pickaxe. Do whatever I have to do here, guys. Alright. And in here, there is nothing really too important. Maybe some melon? Melon? Alright, give me the melon. Alright, we're going for it. There's a bunch of treasures I saw, definitely. I just don't know where they are. Spawner! Evil wolves! And golden apple! Golden apple. Oh, God. I'm just using my pickaxe. I'm going to need a new one anyway. I'm going to get more enchants on it. It's easier to switch back and forth this way. All right, get the spawner quickly. Now I can get both of this, like, chest out of here. All right, more melons that stacks with that. I got pumpkin seeds. Hold on, you know what we can do is try to fit some stuff in here. If anything, like, can. That can go in there. Anything else? Iron ingot. Hmm. Anything else we can put in here? Oh, these go in there. Nice. We've got a few open slots. Grab these pumpkin seeds. And I got more apples. Okay, cool. Give me my golden apple. There it is. I don't think I need any of that stuff. I can get rid of this cobblestone. I don't think I'm going to need that. It's in a cool area. Look at it. It's like... We're in like... Surrounded by hills. Alright. Any more chests for me? Can I just jump over this? Ouch. Okay, it hurts you. <laughs> they don't want you to climb on top. That's probably smart. Alright, a diamond. And melon seeds and more melon. Alright, is there any more? Like, looking... Okay, another spawner right there. Going for it. Don't land on it. And you've got it. And I'm using the jumping to my advantage here. Saddle. Oh, a saddle. That's nice. Because we need more saddles for more of the animal bikes, which I only... I'm not sure if I have any more, to be honest. I might have one. I didn't mean to land on that, by the way. I think I saw another. All right. Maybe we've been to all of them. You know how we could check those? We could fly above top. Come on, give me the right one. I'm gonna make a new animal bike when we get back. We have a bunch of stuff. Bunch of people to put in the fan chin. A lot of things to do. So I think I've got them all, right? Because there'd be a spawner there. All right, I think we completely explored this maze and killed the Hydra. I tried to make it hard, guys. I did my best. Get a cave over here. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna do the fan chin right now because we're kind of far from. We're really far from our home. What are we at? We're um. Can't even, like, see. Oh, there. 4,300 meters away. <laughs> okay, so today's winners. I got this cool pad, too. I found this with my World of Warcraft that I bought a long time. I got a pad. Look at it. I like it. So I'm going to write stuff on this. I've been having, like, pieces of paper all over the place. My room's been getting so messy, so I have a pad now. <laughs> the winners were Chase Reed, the Disciple of Christ, and I'm Wes HD. So congrats to you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.